Ladies and gentlemen, we have ignition. We are live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to lesson five. A little ASMR hand action fresh. Five. You like ASMR? You ever watch that stuff? Um, I tried after you and Rin uh, talked about it on that uh, paranormal show we were both on. Uh, when we wound up talking about Santa Clauses and workouts till like three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, w I tried going and listening to some of it, and unfortunately, my attention span wasn't long enough to enjoy it, I think. Yeah, it's definitely not something you want to do when you're motivated to start your day. It's something you mm -hmm. want to do to end your day. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Usually at the end of my day, I put on, I guess there, I guess it would be a little bit of a, uh, ASMR. Uh, I, put on, I usually put on one of the Star Trek series because they've always got that low buzzing in the background from the ship. Yes, that, that is an ASMR experience right there. The so, like you're in a yeah. little pod and you're in space. Yeah, and so that for some reason I can I can go to sleep pretty easy when a Star Trek series is on. I like a side of the cliff in one of those pop up tents that you put on the side of the cliff in like a yeah. sleeping bag. Like that does it for me. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm gonna make an ASMR uh, mixing channel. So it's gonna be like oh, we're gonna add a little bit of the chocolate clear. Yeah. Mm. We're just gonna drip it in a little bit. So yeah. then you really, then you really. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna do it with my hands. Like I'll have like VG all over my hands and like make like. Yeah. So anyway, this is lesson five, and lesson five is gonna be. I struggled with the name today, Fresh. The first name that I came up with was uh, Chocolate Rain, and I didn't want to make it seem like I was. Robert, get out of here. Bye, Robert. All right. Well, that was my fault, everyone. <laughs> That's the end of that. All right. So it's locked. Um, yeah. So I <laughs> fresh. We should do that. We should do it just to see who our real friends are. Like who jumps in. Uh, you guys were fucking up so bad. I just had to come in and try to help you. Yeah, I want to help you help yourselves. That's right. But I was coming up with the names, and it was like, uh, Chocolate Rain was the first one, and then I started singing like, <clears throat> Chocolate Rain, <laughs> Chocolate Rain. What's that and, dude uh, named? Fre Freddy something? His name was Tezonde. Tezonde. Okay, that's right. Yeah. I so saw that. I shared that pic your, that picture you put together on Instagram. He looked disgusted with us, by the way. He did. He did. Well, that's his move. That was his rain, and then he... You know, it's sort of like if I'm talking to you right now. I gotta breathe to the side, you know, so the mic doesn't pick me up. Yeah. For those who don't know, look up Chocolate Rain on YouTube. But who doesn't know? The whole world loves Tezonde. But uh, <laughs> I, I decided for the show, show it's gonna be sexual chocolate. Sexual chocolate. Fair enough. Because tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and what goes better than a little bit of chocolate and some fat sex? That's a good. That's a good one. If we if we wanted to make chocolate vapes for our valentines for our valentines, though, we should have done it last week. But at least we'll have a head start on next year. You know what I'm saying, Brian? This is the pre 2018 Valentine's Day episode. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Yeah, we'll have one year steeped chocolate. That could turn out lovely. Yeah, or aged. Sorry. How's that vodka? Oh. You know, if I was drinking vodka, this show would get lively in a hurry. <laughs> you and I would I'd be, I'd be a really good time for about 10 minutes. And then after that, we'd be nude knife fight fighting in a parking lot. That's right. <laughs> My mom does not have a bigger vagina than yours. Than yours does Brian. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fresh. We must fight. Fuck. Yes. Mm. Mm. We'd have a Yoda fucking cock lightsaber to fight in the bark a lot as long as I could wear the hat I think I'd, I, we might do it sober you can I'd wear a Yoda, <laughs> I'd wear a Yoda condom a Yoda condom yeah they have like themed uh, condoms I figured we could do like fluorescent and that would be the lightsabers and then just <gasps> we'll, we'll black light lights that's too much planning for drunk guys uh, but we can we can enlist the community's help okay I'm sure they'd be down for it Kimmy Kimmy, we need a black light and a night vision camera. There we go. Get on it, Kimmy. By the way, congratulations to Kimmy for 
well, not even congratulations. She's been blowing up her Instagram. If you haven't followed her, check out Kimmy Vapes on Instagram. But also, she's been a huge help in Fresh from the Kitchen on the Facebook group. And if you're new to this, first of all, I encourage you to watch from episode or from lesson one and then do it sequentially because you're going to get confused. The second thing is join our Facebook group, Fresh from the Kitchen, because there's a lot of people to help you there, especially Kimmy Vapes because she's such a huge help. Uh, you can get recipes, you can get calendar notifications for each week and what show we're doing and what recipes we're going to be mixing that week. Uh, there's sometimes Fresh puts selfies up of him doing different random sexual things around the house. Um, it's just awesome. So thank you for that. Also, give Fresh 03 a su subscription. Subscribe to him. He, you know, he gives all of his time and his energy and his knowledge and his experience for absolutely nothing. So why not give him a little love and uh, join him and also learn how to mix your tasty, affordable, fucking banging e-liquid. That's right. So fresh Swing by on the Saturday shows and I'll teach you how to mix 15 ingredient trick cereal. There you go. 15 ingredients. He will have you pulling out your credit card on the daily. And being like, Fresh, why, the, why, do, why are you putting grape juice in tricks? Because there's a grape flavor. There's yep. grape in this grape is the only grape. grape flavor that fits the profile. Grape-like flavor. Yep. <laughs> what, are you, what, what are you vaping on, by the way? Uh, I'm vaping on chocolate pudding from la from uh, my video, my recipe video from last Monday. Chocolate pudding. And it's it turned out lovely. And it's about a seven-day steep, which is generally generally true of most of the chocolates. Seven generally true. About, se about seven days, depending on depending on what you're aiming for. This one we were aiming for richness and depth and we wanted that nice pudding flavor. And we'll talk, we'll talk about those chocolate flavors that work really well for things like this. And how we, this. Hit it, how we hit it off like that and get it to where we need it to be. Um, I'm vaping on the Vaporized Nomads Illuminati Edition. This is the 167 with the titanium nice. goon on top. What a sexy fucking setup that is. Hell yeah it is. Yeah, so I got that in the mail today. And uh, I'm also going to drip, and I hope you guys do too. This is the DQ Strawberry Sunday, which I have actually been shaking and letting it breathe for the past two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, how long are you going to be on Mars? Two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Two weeks. Two so, weeks. Two Mars, weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> Johnny Cat. Uh, all right, so let's strip it. Why don't we try it? We're going to sample it. I'm going to let you know, Fresh, if I like it or not. And there's no pressure to like anything that Fresh makes or I make because that's the beauty of DIY. You can actually tweak, adjust, adapt, and manipulate your recipe from somebody else's. So take somebody else's and say, you know what? I like that, but I don't really have a strawberry taste in my mouth, so I'm going to add this to it, or I'm going to take this away, and you can play around. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, my nice, my nice rich ice cream base that I came up with. So I'm. Um, let me. See. Should I taste it first? What do you think? Do what you do. Whatever you want to do, Brian. I'm it's do it's your DIY want. experience, my friend. Just like it's everybody else's DIY experience. Hold on. Hmm. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm going in for the kill. All right. Now, I just want to let you know, Fresh, I substituted all of the flavors that you had listed, and I used what I had. So for the strawberry, I used pear. Um, <laughs> uh, Pear-style ice cream? But I'm going to throw your recipe under the bus when it doesn't taste good because... <laughs> Yo, I Fair see that all the time on ELR. Like, this recipe's not that bad, but uh, I substituted the uh, strawberry ripe for the strawberry Nestle Quick that I had in my cabinet, and uh, you know what I mean? Like, people are just it doesn't like, it doesn't quite it doesn't quite taste like you're describing. Like, oh, okay, yeah, good call. <laughs> and for those that don't know, when we say ELR, what are we talking about? Fresh? Uh, we're talking about the e liquid e dash liquid dash recipes website which is a it's a lovely website lovely website it you do all your it does all your calculations for you uh what else does it do um you can convert from drops to gram 
Um, it does all your conversions for you. If you need to, if you need to figure out your, uh, if you need to figure out your concentrate, your mixes for concentrates and how much to use. Like, let's say you don't want to use a whole bottle. You only want to make 30 mils. You can just type those percentages in, and it'll give you that amount right there on it. I'm going to go for a little, I'm going to go for a second pull. I like it. That's got to be a good sign, right? It's going for the second pull. Yeah, it's good, man. <clears throat> I tried it like a week ago and it had a little bit of the, like back tongue feel. Yeah. Whatever that is, it tastes kind of dry or like uh, it's a weird that, sensation on the back of your tongue. That's the uh, vanilla cupcake. Oh, is that what that's, it is? Yeah, that's the, that generally steeps out a little. It steeps out a little bit over the over the course of time, but um, and like it just it just gets richer. That's the thing about this recipe is it just gets richer the longer you the longer you let it sit. The more the more creamy and uh, ice creamy notes, and the richer that ice cream gets, the strawberry kind of hits its. Strawberry kind of hits where it's going to be after about three days, but that ice cream really just starts getting richer and more complicated. And that's what I wanted when I made that recipe was, um, quite frankly, the one of the flavors we're using here tonight, the vanilla bean ice cream. Um, it's not a very, it's not the greatest flavor. It's kind of a flat flavor. Um, it doesn't have a lot of depth to it. It tastes like it tastes like vanilla ice cream, but it tastes like the cheapest vanilla ice cream you can go and buy. And so what I wanted was I wanted an ice cream like you would go to like an old timey drugstore and you say, hey, I want a strawberry sundae. So give me a scoop of vanilla and put some strawberry topping on there. And that's what I went for on that recipe. So I hope you're kind of getting that. <laughs> I am. I am. What I, what I was talking to Fresh about earlier before we came on the show, because we usually run past our notes and what we're going to talk about. And I told him that because um, Kimmy had actually talked about this, too, but. On Amazon, they sell these boxes. Yep. Five milliliter sterile solution for inhalation. This is a um, uh, a saline, right? Yep, saline. Saline, and it comes in these like little break open tubes. And saline is basically salt, sterile salt water, right? That's exactly what it is. Mixed <laughs> so, to a precise, mixed to a precise amount, but yes. So if you think about like going to have you ever been to a restaurant and they use like you buy say you go to like wendy's or mcdonald's and you get french fries and whoever's working didn't feel like filling up the salt shaker or they're lazy or the salt shaker has so much grease on it that it doesn't let the salt come out and you yeah. try the french fries and you're like what the fuck this doesn't taste like mcdonald's french fries right but then you put salt on it and it's like boom it just the fucking flavor is so delicious right yeah. Well, salt is a flavor enhancer for everything. Everything. It's, it's a flavor enhancer. It enhances flavors. So Fresh has been talking about privately and also on his shows using salt in mixes. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add, and he recommends one little drop. And how many how many milliliters would that be? One drop. Uh, per drop, it generally it's right around it's right around uh, 0.2 mLs. Like 0.2. So for 10 milliliters of liquid, you want to use 0.2 milliliters. Or of it's 0.2%. Uh, let, me, let me grab that real quick. Yeah. Because I, I don't want to mislead folks. Uh, yeah, point, uh, the dropper that I use, uh, it's 47 drops per milliliter, so it would be slightly smaller as 0.18. So you're looking 0.2 to 0.25%. So we're look, we're talking a quarter of a percent max, um, but yeah, it it turn, it comes out to when you're adding it to uh, uh, it is. I added three drops to a thirty mil, and it comes out to 0 0.05 mLs. So it's a it's a great it's a, I actually picked that up from the uh, Charlie Nobles when he dropped his peanut butter cereal recipe <clears throat> because I'd talked about putting saline in in things before but i hadn't actually done it like i was aware i was aware of what saline did i just hadn't really ever thought to put it in mixes until i tried it in that charlie nobles and i tried it with and without and 
the difference is night and day in that recipe, uh, just adding three little drops of saline in. Um, and so once that, once I, once I saw that, I started slipping it into other recipes. And now, I, now generally it's just a, a habit that I do on almost every recipe is I'll put like three drops of saline in my 30 mil batch, just because it does seem to enhance just about everything. The only, the only flavor I've really found that I didn't like it with was, um, if I was going for like a straight peach recipe, I didn't enjoy the, the saline, what it did to the peach. But other than that, it, it it seems to enhance almost every flavor. Like it'll bring your bakery notes out. It'll make your fruits just brighter. And the great thing about those little vials there is you can do your you can do your drops that you want into your batch, and then you can take the rest of it and empty it into an empty bottle. And then you can start building up that say the saline for something else down the road. So you can you're not wasting all that much, which is yeah. the really nice part about that. So I'm going to take this and this was a 60 milliliter mix that i made so i'm going to do i'm going to do five drops because i vaped a little yeah. bit of it during the i was going to say yeah do five to be safe one two three, three five mm, four, four it is four it is mm. five you must so there we go there's five drops and i'm going to put the cap back on and I'm gonna shake this like it owes yeah. me money. That's right. Or like I paid it. Oh yeah. You paid it to shake it, yeah. This is for you, Fresh. I'm looking right yeah. at you in your fucking oh, eyes. How you doing, brother? How you doing? We're buddies, little, man. A little to the left, a little to the left, brother. There we go. Oh. We'll hug it out in a minute. Right now is ain't the time for hugging though. Uh, no time for hugging. That's right. Master That's and right. apprentice, mm. buddies with benefits. Right, my hurt, best Brian. Right, my Go in my swamp like the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this should be shaken, not stead, and uh... and the and the difference the difference is going to be immediately noticeable. So. Well, I'll tell you if it is or not, and I'll call you a liar in front of everybody because... That's fair. I think that's fair. I have the original non-salted in my RDA, so I'm going to bait this up. If you like it, I'm totally putting salt in it. All right, so let me go up to 130. Also, if you guys are interested in picking up the exact little things that I have here, you, Kimmy Vapes will be gracious enough, I'm sure, because she's always helping out. Uh, she'll put a link in chat, probably, and she can also, she probably already did. We're not reading chat anymore, by the way, because we don't want to get distracted. We have a lot to talk about on the show, and when we do read chat, we'll tell you. Mm -hmm. um, but she'll put a link there, and she'll also put a link on the Facebook group, a little, little link. So there you go. Yeah, you can also purchase saline by the bottle over on uh, DIYVaporSupply.com. Um, you do you have to search for it. It's not something that's like under flavor additives or anything, but they do sell bottles of it. All right, so I'm ready to drip it. All right. Let me give you. I'll tell you what pops and what doesn't. Like what changed. I'm assuming that the strawberry is going to get a little bit brighter. And I think the cream might get a little bit sweeter, if I had to guess. Let's see. It even changes the flavor when you lick it. Mm-hmm. Sweeter. Sweeter. And the strawberry has more like a like a ripeness to it. Yeah. That's what yeah. it is. Coming out coming out a little bit more. It's like it almost it's like it like like it enhances the flavor. It's like it wakes up your tongue. Yeah. Like it was great. And you wouldn't really know it was missing anything unless you did it. And then when you do it, you're like, holy shit. Like, wait a minute, why didn't I do that before? Because I yeah. wasn't using saline then like a fool. 
Like yes. a fool. Yes. <laughs> so I go out with these now, like like little saccharin tablets for like old people with coffee or like like sweet and low packets. Like I'll be eating chicken wings and I'll be like, like oh yeah, that's all I needed was saline. <laughs> By the way, lemon does that too. Mm hmm. A little bit of lemon, um, lemon juice, a little apple cider, a little apple cider cider vinegar. If you have a recipe, if you have like a flavor that's really out of control in your recipe, you can put a drop of apple cider vinegar in, and it'll help tone it down quite a bit. We're gonna get a little more advanced. Fresh and I were talking in the future in a future episode. We're that's gonna true. Have a whole entire show on what fresh flavor additives, flavor additives, and what they can do and what they can't do, and what they will do and what they that's won't right. do. That's right. Yes. So yeah, flavor additives. Um, speaking of flavors, chocolates. What a tough thing to vape. At least for me <laughs> in the past. Yeah, chocolate. Chocolate. So what's the problem with chocolates historically with vaping fresh? Um, getting the actual chocolate distilled down into a flavor like this, uh, down into a usable flavor. Um, I'm assuming it has to be because of the amount of alcohol you have to add to it, that it just, it it warps the flavor of chocolate and it's it's almost impossible well at least it used to be almost impossible to get something that actually tasted like chocolate you could get things that were really really close and you would kind of say to yourself well you know that'll work but then you know in in vaping and in diy we we shouldn't have to settle for that um, and there has been, you know, there's a, a couple that were pretty good that have been out for a while. Um, I think it's Capella's chocolate brownie or chocolate fudge brownie was decent. There you go. Chocolate fudge brownie. It's a pretty decent flavor. Um, it's very, very strong though. Uh, so it made it difficult. To, it made it difficult to work with. Um, it would get burnt really easily. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. And your coils will gunk up like nobody's business usually with chocolate flavors. Yeah. Um, so you're always going to have like after the first couple hits, you're going to wind up with a burnt note. Um, is is it true? Is there particles that I see in the actual flavoring, or is that well, just the uh, dark colors mixing with the light colors of my VG? It, oh, it's probably just it's probably just the dark and light of the of the of the, uh, of the two different two different flavors going. Because most time when you shake these up, you'll see like all the bubbles and it'll look kind of funky. Yeah. Looks like there might be floaters in there. Yeah, it's just the, it's just the aeration. But um, the TFA double chocolate, uh, double chocolate clear, which is a I found was a much better flavor than the dark. Um, that was a decent one to work with. Uh, if I had to use one previously, generally that was probably what I would have grabbed. Um, but even then, it's still the the steep time in the in the final flavor. It generally. I didn't find I didn't find it satisfying as, as far as chocolates went. Uh, I thought that was there one other one. Um, Glamour I think was it Glamour chocolate by Mullenberry. I think it's called Glamour chocolate by Mullenberry. Was really good, but that flavor company is out of Poland, and it's almost always out of stock because it was just one of those flavors that if you wanted something to taste as close to chocolate as you were going to be able to get it, you probably needed that. So. It, it, it was rough. It was rough mixing with chocolates just because you could never get exactly what you were aiming for. Um, luckily, uh, Inawera kind of kind of took the took the ball from people and said, "We'll show you how to do a chocolate." And it's it's widely available. Their chocolates are widely available. Their milk chocolate and their chocolate cream are both outstanding, uh, as is their mocha. Uh, by itself, the chocolate cream tastes kind of like hot chocolate, which is nice. Uh, the milk chocolate by itself is is uh, it's a really it's a it's a decent chocolate flavor. It's not precisely what I'd aim for, but it, it was it was also really easy to to manipulate those flavors into what you wanted them to to become, um, and that is by using a couple different flavor additives to them. Once again, secrets that I picked up as I was going along um within the last couple this is all within like the last six months i started picking up the chocolates and um uh using a little bit of a subtle pyrazine which is a grain note flavor enhancer it, it enhances grain flavors it's a terrible terrible flavor by itself like if you have a subtle pyrazine in your in your mix you're probably going to know about it because is that nuts nuts um 
it nuts. It tastes like it smells like cornflakes, kind of. But it tastes. I know on the on the picture, it looks like there's a lot of nuts on the picture. Yeah, because it's a nut and grain enhancer. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. I yes. love nut nut enhancers. Uh, don't we all? Yes. Don't we all? You got to You got if you can find a good set of underwear. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Accentuate accentuate those things. Yes. But, um, you know what goes good with sausage nuts. That's right, sausage and nuts. Yeah. That's right. Um, so the, yeah, a settle pyrazine, and if you're gonna buy, if you're gonna go out and buy a settle pyrazine, look for the lowest dilution percentage that you can find. Like if you can, um, TFA sells it at five percent, so it's it's five percent of the flavor, or of the of the chemical diluted down with PG. Buy that. Um, even then, you're still only gonna use like two drops in a thirty mil batch. It's like one drop for every fifteen mils, and this is at like forty seven drops per milliliter. So these are tiny, tiny, tiny drops that you're adding in. And if you go over, you're going to know it. You will know that you put too much acetylpyrazine in a mix because you will taste that awfulness for for forever in that mix. You might as well just throw it out if you get nothing but acetylpyrazine. Can you um, increase your other flavors to offset the difference that you put too much in? No, that flavor is never going that flavor is never not going to be recognizable once you go over. Okay. It's one of those. <laughs> okay. Um, it tastes, it, it's just, it's such a terrible flavor. Such a, it, it tastes so bad. But what it can do in like cereal vapes, and if you're aiming for like a, a bready vape, if you want like a bread note, uh, you can do some really, really tremendous things with it. Just you have to be so careful with the teeny tiniest amounts of getting that into, getting it in there. Um, and the other thing that I started adding to my chocolates was, of course, saline. Uh, and that brightened that chocolate right up. And it took it from being, okay, now we're getting somewhere to, aha, now we've got it. And, and it still takes seven, it still takes roughly about seven days for those two chocolate flavors to come around. But they are, it's thanks to those two flavors, I've gone back and revisited a lot of the chocolate flavors that I had and added the acetylpyrazine, added the saline. And I do get a much more pleasant flavor out of them than I did previously. So, I, I will go back and I will say that that TFA double chocolate clear, perfectly usable flavor, the the uh, the uh, fudge brownie that by Capella, that's a perfectly usable flavor. The chocolate donut, the TFA chocolate glazed donut, perfectly usable flavor. I would just suggest to get that true chocolate flavor if that's what you're aiming for, if that's what's been escaping you, to add that little bit of acetylpyrazine, just two two drops. Uh, and I believe it comes out to 0.1%, 0.1%. So that we're talking like 0.03 mLs in a 30 mil batch. So that's, that's how, that's how tiny of an amount we're talking about. Um, I would suggest adding that and then the uh, three drops of saline in a 30 mil batch. So one drop of one drop per every 30 mils or every 10 mils, the misspeaking. Um, but it, it made chocolate so much easier to work with. And once I, once those in aware of chocolate flavors, once those came out, I became more willing to work with chocolate. And then as my mo- as my knowledge of chocolates expanded, and I'm sure these secrets have been out for, you know, quite a while, but it just made it so much easier to work with chocolate and get chocolate flavors that I was actually proud to put out there and, and have people vape on rather than just having something that I mixed up and I'm like, oh, okay, it's okay. I can vape that. But chocolate's always been such a difficult flavor, Brian. Such a difficult flavor to work with. I was telling you earlier that this, I, I, I think it took me a day and a half to vape this entire bottle here. This is called Lava Cake from 2VapeDex, 2VapeDex.com. This is the first chocolate vape that I've been, like, sucking down the milliliters. Like, it's absolutely phenomenal. It's not dark. It's light. And it tastes so freaking good. It's like a nice cake, like a chocolate cake batter. Um awesome awesome juice so we're going to talk about that in the future um but let's get mixing because we're going to run out of time and i don't want to run out of time tonight Uh, yes so yeah chocolate is the topic tonight we have a recipe it's below the replay in the chat or in the comments uh description below this video when the replay goes up it's also on the website fresh from the kitchen on facebook and uh we're going to mix tonight so this recipe go ahead fresh I was going to say, it's also on DIYordievaping.com. That's exactly what I was going to say. This recipe is made by who? Uh, Wayne. Wayne Walker from DIY or Die. Um, 
one of the best mixers on the planet by far and one one of the coolest people in the community uh once again by far um this is his take on a chocolate milkshake um i don't i haven't mixed this so i'm really excited to mix it so yes. let's rock I, with it i uh i've spent so much time on wayne's website like reading his recipes i've mixed many of his recipes i've i've listened to his shows what he picks for his flavor recipes when he does the the competitions listening to his uh, perspective on flavorings and his descriptions just a, a wealth of information at diy or die dot com and also on youtube diy or die so thank you wayne you've really helped uh helped me progress in my knowledge so i believe he has a podcast or a live show of some sort that goes up tonight uh it actually may have already been on today uh generally i wind up listening to stuff afterwards because he runs at odd times for me so grab your eye protection everybody grab your eye protection you want to grab your inspection gloves your colonoscopy gloves that's right like and you're getting up in like you're getting up in that ass i'm gonna to have to be honest real quick for a minute fresh i was at the hospital my beautiful sister jill had a baby over the weekend and yes congratulations I, I walked past the nitrile glove container in the hospital and i couldn't control myself <laughs> <laughs> so it looks as though you may you may have snatched out of the wrong size, but these are better than the other gloves I used to have. <laughs> uh, I know that I didn't. I don't have the child size anymore. Excellent. Yeah, these are like adult female, maybe. <laughs> so, I'm gonna do this for somebody out there. Oh, someone likes that. Someone's ASMR. Yeah, buddy. Just sleep, sleep. So fresh. Why don't we do a rundown of the flavors that are in this? So, oh, you son of a bitch! I. It, oh sorry. man, you got, sorry, you got <laughs> sorry, honey, it broke. Uh oh. Yeah. We'll re we'll be right back here at the baby ward in nine months. Oh man. There you go. Uh, so the first flavor, everybody, is Inawera ch is uh, milk chocolate by Inawera, and this is at four percent. Uh, the next one is vanilla bean ice cream at 3%. Uh, TPA meringue. Meringue, which is a nice creamy, has a slight eggy touch to it. Lovely flavor uh, at 1%. Flavor West hazelnut. Hazelnut at 1%. Uh, Capella's vanilla custard. Vanilla custard, B1, at half a percent. This is TFA marshmallow. Just regular marshmallow, not toasted marshmallow, at 1%. And sweetener, sucralose sweetener, at 2%. And those are our ingredients, everybody. I just want to apologize. I just covered your screen when you were showing off all the flavors. Uh oh. My Logitech webcam controller covered your. That's okay. I said them out loud. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go right down the line. I'll show. I'll show you guys a trick as far as drawing up a flavor this dark. Uh, especially if you're doing this, if you're gonna be doing this by volume, not by weight, like Brian's doing over there. So what you want to do is you just want to pull back a little bit and give yourself a little bit of little bit of space here, and that and this way you'll be able to draw up your dark flavor and see exactly where you're at. So uh, fresh, I picked up one of these. What do you think of these? Uh, I like it. I like that quite a bit because it's great for pouring into your bottles. That's what I'm thinking, and it's nice and big to be able to mix, and it has uh, your measurements on the side here. It's I like in, it. It's in ounces and cups, but you can easily translate. And then the other side is in milliliters. Perfect. So, yeah. Is that a Bed um, Bath & Beyond purchase? No, that was actually Amazon. And I'll, I'll try to find the link after the show tonight, and I'll put it on the, uh, the website and hopefully blow this video of where I bought it. Uh, I know they have those at Bed Bath & Beyond as well. Do they? Yeah. So I'm actually going to do that tonight. Uh, I'm going to tear this. So I just put that on there, and it measured it out get rid of it 
And Fresh, why don't you, you want to verbalize yours and I'll just do mine and people can watch what I'm doing? Perfect. Uh, okay. So mine was 4% in a wear milk chocolate, which is 1.2 mLs. Because I am making a 30 mil batch, so that was 1.2 mLs. My next one here is the vanilla bean ice cream. Vanilla bean ice cream by TFA. And we need 3%, so we need 0.9 mLs. Nine mLs. Oh, of course I did that. It's the reason lure locks are nice. Go ahead and snag that. I'm making 120 milliliters of this because I know I like it. Nice. Next meringue. 1% meringue, so we need 0 0.3 mLs. Point 0.3 mLs, good to go. Marshmallow is 1%. Point 0.3 mLs. Next, I'm going to do, I believe, Sucapella's Vanilla Custard B1. The greatest custard ever in the history of custard. We need a half percent of this, so 0.15 mLs. 0.15. And finally, flavor West hazelnuts. Nope, not quite finally. Got to do sweetener too. Hazelnut is 1%. Throw everything around. That is okay. And sweetener. This is just sucralose sweetener. They're all they're all the same. None is superior as far as I'm concerned. They're all pretty terrible. <laughs> you could leave this out, I heard. You could leave the sweetener out, but I'm making it exactly as Wayne suggested. That's what I'm doing. I need 2%. And sweetener's not the devil. It just gunks up your coils a little bit more and makes your, your wicking not last that long. But yep. some, sometimes uh, it's sort of like making Rice Krispie treats, you know, like the marshmallow is tough on your pan and you got to clean it up and everything but it's worth it because it tastes banging so that's right yeah there we go so it looks like the dominant flavor in this recipe is the uh milk chocolate by inawara and then yes. the, second, the secondary flavor is the vanilla bean ice cream those yes. are like the real prominent flavors yeah and that meringue is going to be most of the milk flavor there uh along with that vanilla custard um the marshmallow is going to the marshmallow is going also going to be creamy and sweet. Uh, the hazelnut is actually what I think is going to hit this chocolate and make it 
a viable chocolate. Not that the milk chocolate's bad. The milk chocolate's very, very close to being wonderful by itself, but. Usually I've found that it can use a little pizzazz. Every, can't everything use a little pizzazz? I mean, I like I Rice Krispies. So. Rice Krispies are great, but sprinkle a little sugar on them fuckers and they're, they're like, you know, delicious. Exactly. I like love it's the, the It's the holidays. There's a Christmas sock sitting around. You put it on your dick. Yep. You know? It's an accessory. It's an additive. Exactly. A little pizzazz. A little I pizzazz. love the right smell the of this. The vanilla bean ice cream, it oh, does man. smell lovely, doesn't it? It sure does. Hmm. But I really good. like I really like the use of hazelnut in this recipe, um, to get our chocolate where it needed to go, um, and I like the I like the custard and the meringue for a milk flavor for your for your uh, for the ice cream. The only thing I'm not a fan of is the sweetener. I might have I probably would have pushed my marshmallow up to two percent rather than use the sweetener if it was my recipe, but it is not my recipe. So I'm going to make it exactly the way that Wayne said, and I'm going to enjoy it because he makes nothing but awesome recipes. Why don't I go up top so I can make eye contact with somebody? I'm looking forward to that. I wonder who's out there. Who's out there anyway? It's kind of like we're going at this nude, you know, like we're blind to the to the peeps. That's right. Why don't you bring up chat because it's 845, so. We're almost there. Yeah. You want me to bring? I can pull chat up real quick. Why not? I'm going to grab up, a... Make eye contact with somebody. I would love that. I think I'm going to get a pair of those glasses to give my wife so when we have role play sex. She can be fresh? Yep. I like it. Yep. Good idea, Brian. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Lemmy's out there. Addy Tooney's out there. Fine Peter gentlemen. Turns out there. Fine gentlemen. Especially that singer. Have you seen how good looking that man is? He hits a high note that will make like you want to take business. off your underpants. Like nobody's business. Yep. How you doing, singer? I know who I'm making eye contact with tonight, Brian. Who's that? He's going to be singing somebody's truth. <laughs> the singer of pleasure. That's right. Singer! All right, so i got to put my VG in. And I do find using something like this is wonderful for uh, pouring VG in when you're measuring by weight. So I need 132.41 grams. You'll, you always want to give yourself some time to let your scale catch up. Yes. So if you see you're getting close, just stop. <laughs> Unlike what I just did. Um, I mean, we're only talking two grams. It's not like that's only a couple mils over, Brian. No biggie. Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's right, singer. Can you be? What's up? See, that's the beauty of humility, because I'm, I'm a beginner and I'm not advanced. And uh, anytime I try to act like I know something, you get brought back down to earth. What's up, Dimlin? She, she said that was a bold poor Brian. <laughs> was, it, was it? Well, it was obviously overly bold. <laughs> Hopefully that salt will be able to bring it back up. So, Fresh, I'm going to use something that... Um, we've talked about before just because i have such a big open here i'm going to use yeah. this little this little tool oh yes the uh, frother yes there are those among us that have wrist and joint problems and they yes. have a difficult time doing rapid shaking so something that helps with mixing might be a frother the frothers work fantastically so here is le frother um, somebody asked if it's easier to mix by weight or by volume, whichever one seemed easier to you, the way I did it or the way Brian did it, it doesn't matter. They both, 
honestly, they both take about the same amount of time um, in batches that aren't like super massive. So look at the, just look at it go, Brian. Look what it's doing to your look what it's doing to that mix. Mm. Look at that. That's chocolate pudding right there, my friend. Mm. That's somebody swamp. That's somebody swampy backyard right there. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, it's like love mud. That's right. It's like halftime at the fucking Eagles game in the bathroom. It smells like sex in here. Well, if, if sex smells like like this liquid, then man, yeah, yeah. You, got, you got yourself a good lube. Oh, man, Jax put boobs out there for me to look at. Thanks, Jax. you got to love that. There's two things that motivate me, food and nudity. There's some truth to that. Yep. I always say balls empty, belly full. It's the keys to my heart. So you know what, you know what actually is something kind of nifty is I saw someone had rigged up a, like a suspension to that. So it was suspended above the liquid. And then they lowered it, turned it on, and it just bounced itself around on the inside of the bit. That's cool. Yeah, it was actually it was actually quite nifty, and they just walked away. I'm pretty good at like uh, inventing things that aren't supposed to be things. So mm -hmm. the more the more experienced I get, and the more I realize the limitations of the tools that I have, I'll start coming up with some pretty cool gadgets on here, and I'll show you guys it. Hmm, interesting. That's an interesting flavor right away. I think that should be good. Does this remind anyone out there of anything? I'm looking at you, Kimmy. For all those looking for satisfaction on Valentine's Day, you might be hearing this. It's not an electric toothbrush. So does anyone have any questions while we're while we're sitting here waiting? Anybody have any questions? Hi Rob Harkless. Hi, hi, DIY mixing with Brian. <laughs> Is that my other channel? Uh, I think it's his channel. Mm. But Dimlin's awesome. If you guys haven't subbed to Dimlin, do it. She does some awesome mixes. She takes up other people's recipes. She does her explanations on why the flavors are doing what they're doing. She's fantastic. If you guys haven't, if you haven't checked out Dimlin, you should. Right there. She just said, I tried an orbital sander to shake the bottle. It didn't work. But Sawzalls work. You just have to sand the teeth off of them. Ultrasonic cleaners are really nice for that. Put up a little, put a little heat in it. Put a little heat, a little uh, warm water in there. How you doing, Ben Kane? Um, I Put the date that I make something on my bottle fresh. I do as well. Yes. That's why I always have a Sharpie sitting around. Um, so chalk shake. Chalk shake. Today's the 13th. 213. Perfect. Does Brian spit or swallow? It depends on what it depends on what it is, and how depends bad you made him gag. It depends if you eat pineapples or not. Uh huh. Wow, this is such a pleasure, fresh. I like that. I do like that pour. Man, no funnel, no funnel necessary. No funnel necessary, brother. There we go. 120 milliliters of Wayne Walker's finest. That's right. Uh, Penn and Kelly, we made uh, we made uh, DIY or die strawberry milkshakes, or uh, chocolate milkshakes, chocolate milkshakes. Uh, what's his steep time on this? I didn't. I did not look at that. What's his recommended steep time on this? I know it's at least a week with that in and wear milk chocolate in there. The meringue is going to add several days. This, the ice cream is going to add several days. I'm I'm thinking a week. I'm thinking a week for the steep. I just worry he said it was shaken bait verified, but gets better after so and so. 
He said shake and vape verified. I don't know. I'm not going to make any claims because I don't know. Let me let me look. It is a milk frother. Um, someone used uh, um, nail polish, like a nail polish shaker, like a professional, like you go to the salon, they have a little nail polish shaker. Someone was using one of those to shake up their bottles of liquid. It looked like a really good idea if they weren't so damn expensive. What's up, Jennifer Zaragoza? How you doing? Kimmy Vapes, what's up, Kimmy? Um... I mean, it's not bad right away. He says medium steep, so yeah. Yeah, it medium says, steep, uh, so probably a week or two. Steep days three on the website here. He says three. Yeah. Cool. I will put it up in my in my fridge or, or up in my cabinet, and I will vape this first thing next week. Yep. I believe that's I believe that's a master plan. I'm going to put this label on here. What's up, Gaz? Always, What's by the that? way, when you mix, make sure you organize all your flavors. Make sure you organize all your supplies. Clean everything properly. Use, like, some Dawn dish soap with everything to disinfect everything. Properly yes. dry all your equipment. And um, why does that keep happening? Uh, properly dry everything. And make sure you keep your counter space nice and clean. Use disinfectant. And always protect your hands, protect your eyes. It's better to be safe than sorry. And um, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Fresh. I think, I think you know, valid points that we should speak about every episode. Yeah. Keep your area clean. Be organized. I, when I'm mixing, I move, I move my flavors. I, I, ha I have them all lined up on one side, and I move them to the other when I'm done with them. That way I know I've used that flavor, and I don't go back and grab it again. Because if you're absent-minded like me and can't pay attention to the world, then there you go. And but, also, um, learn the joy of patience. Patience, uh -huh. good things come to those who wait. Mixing is not a race. It, you need to be patient. You need to be patient to order the right flavorings for the recipe. You need to be patient for the shipping times. You need to be patient for your, your aging or your steeping process. It's just, you know, preparation, planning. It's sort of like painting. If you do a shitty job, you know, using tape in your trim, and you do a shitty job mixing your paint, it might look okay, but it's not going to be the best. So do it the best. Have good practices from the beginning. Thank you, Greg Paschak, for that, by the way. Battery-powered manufacturing paint shaker. Nice. Ooh, nice jacks. That does sound like a nice mix. Put a little cocoa rounds in there. Safety, pre safety precautions for saline. Don't drink it. Uh, <laughs> it's not that I mean it's gonna I mean uh, if you drink it's it salt water yeah your sodium levels are gonna go through the roof if yeah you, if you have tinnitus it might start ringing pretty loud <laughs> pretty good yeah that hypertensive tinnitus yeah yeah um, so what I would do is never cross contaminate your saline um, like once once you've once you've drawn it out of a bottle if you're using a bottle whatever's left in that syringe just throw it away never never cross contaminate because it is a sterile solution oh man look at brian go what's happening what's happening eye contact makes me insecure that's right uh, that's all right you don't need to make eye contact i'll make all the eye contact you need all right there we go all right i'm gonna give this a little taste it's a it's it's not bad it's not bad by any means I can definitely taste that meringue in there. Um, the chocolate wasn't nearly as prevalent as I thought it was going to be. Um, the hazelnut's definitely a note that's in the background there. Well, you know, also fresh. You ever, you know, when you get a milkshake from different places, sometimes you have a real chocolate dominant milkshake, and sometimes you have a little bit lighter, sort of a vanilla -y chocolate milkshake. Yeah, and that's why this you can sort of tweak these recipes on ELR to balance them out the way you like them once you make it. And we're exactly. actually going to return to this recipe in two weeks. So we're going to vape it in two weeks on the show, and then we're going to adapt it individually for our own preferences. Exactly. And show you, show you exactly how we do things like that. 
Um, there are instructions on how to make saline at home. All it is is sea salt and boiled water. You're just dis it's just distilled water and, and sea salt. You just have to watch your measurements, and then when you're drawing it out, of, when you're drawing it out of the kettle, you draw it out of the center. You put your needle, your needle into the center of the pot, but you don't let it touch the bottom, and you draw. That way, you're not getting any contaminants off the side. But you can make saline at home. It, like I said, it's just sea salt and some boiled up distilled water. It's nothing. It's nothing fancy, but it works. It works like a charm, um, and that's something that. Like I would probably do to this recipe immediately is I probably would have slapped some saline in it just because I know what I know what works. I already did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I actually dropped 12 drops of saline in this in my 120 because I already have a 120 that I've made already of this. Oh, okay. So, and I vaped about half of it. So. Nice. Then we'll see. We'll get it. We'll get an immediate reaction here. really good there we go it's really good there it's we definitely go. it's it's definitely one of those things that it's not at its best day one but it's so vapable it's so better than yeah. a lot of liquids on the market even so yeah you know some some recipes that you make when you first taste it you're like holy shit it's never going to be good it's horrible you want to gag <laughs> um but this is one of those that you can definitely taste it and try it day one so i'm going to put i'm going to tighten this up i'm going to put this in a dark dry cool location and uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna check it out once a day and sh give it a nice shake and I, I i don't really think i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, let this breathe very much maybe i'll suck some air into the bottle itself yeah just kind of do that i've been breathing a lot of my strawberries and fruit flavors and stuff like that they get a lot of perfume smell in the bottle it's yeah the like, fl florals you have to do that too yeah if something's got a floral note yeah. Like one of the best like blueberry ish flavors out there is called Billberry by Flavor Art. It's such a once it steeps out, it's such a wonderful flavor. But all you taste is blueberries and flowers immediately. And so you have to steep the flowers out of it. And uh, if anyone out there is looking for some other and I'm actually going to be making your uh, chocolate pudding fresh. I ordered all the supplies uh. yesterday. So I'll be making that, but two good flavors if you're a newbie and you want to get a really good, uh, especially for bases, I think these will be real great base flavors. Uh, on DIY or Die, uh, you can find the recipe for, um, it's called Sugar Cookies and Cream. Yeah. So I made that. It, absolutely awesome flavor. And also the uh, Simply Cannoli flavor, absolutely awesome. So those two flavors are good starters if you're into bakeries and desserts and things like that. Very to good. To start you off, yeah. Um, let's talk about uh, future episodes, Fresh. Let's spend the last minute uh, or last couple minutes talking about what we're going to be doing next week to prepare people for the process. Let me grab my notebook so you can do a little dance and a little song maybe. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's go out to the kitchen. Let's go out to the kitchen. Let's go out to the kitchen and mix ourselves a vape. What's happening, everybody? Yeah, no. Um, next week, I believe we're doing layers. We're doing layering next week, if I remember correctly. So we'll go. Uh, I believe we're also mixing the the straw nana, the straw nana yogurt. What do you mean it works? It works. What does it really help to do? What saline, Ryan D. It's just a flavor enhancer. Just enhances flavors. It brings different notes out of different things. Like your your fruits and berries, it pops, it makes them brighter, a little riper, more realistic. Chocolates, it just enhances, it just enhances. I, I'd imagine it enhances the, the grain that's still left in chocolate. Yeah, have you ever had like a, a, chocolate, a, ice cream, a chocolate ice cream cone and eaten a pretzel with it? Mm, yes. The chocolate salt, covered pretzels. There you go, chocolate covered pretzels. Or like a chocolate ice cream, have an ice cream sundae or ice cream, and then put some uh, pretzel in the ice cream. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, all right. So, shake and vape. Next week, shake and vape. We're going to do straw nana yogurt. Yes. And there is a link below this show tonight for that. Also on the website, on uh, Facebook, Fresh from the Kitchen. And, uh, excellent. Excellent <clears throat> recipe. Good job, Fresh. 
next week's topic is what flavors to buy when you're yes. new to, to DIY. Because a lot of times you'll start to find that a lot of the, the strongest recipes that are available, because you're not going to be developing your own recipes when you're brand new, you want to build off of the experience of other vapors and other mixers. So knowing what to buy, how much to buy, what brands to use, why. Why are we buying these flavors? What are they good for? Next week's show is going to be dedicated to that. So you don't waste your money and have a whole bunch of useless flavorings because a lot of times you'll say, ooh, caramel cheesecake sounds really good. Maybe it does sound good, but maybe you can make a caramel cheesecake with other flavors from other companies to know what is what is the creme de la creme of the flavor uh, choice market. Yes. And that's why well, Belgian, Belgian waffles sound really good, Brian. Like I love a good Belgian waffle. That flavor? Not so much. Yeah. The steep time on it makes me angry. Hangry. For Belgian Angry. waffles. You're better off buying Belgian waffles than flavor, Brian. Yeah. Much better waffle flavors to buy anyway than Belgian waffle. Yes. Yes, Fresh. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's going to be next week. And I'm going to give you – I'll give you guys – why not? What the fuck? I'll give you a sneak peek. So after that, next week I'm going to tell you what to buy because Fresh has to come up with a list still. But the following week is going to be an episode all on building your base. Base. How low can you go? How low can you go? So we're going to build our base. And we're going to talk about cream bases, bakery bases, fruit, cereal, um, breakfast, all kinds of bases. It's going to be all about the base. All about the base. So we're going to do that on week seven. And uh, week eight is going to be a secret because it's violent and sexual. So we're not there yet. A light choking. A light choking. Yep. We're going to do uh, pantyhose choking. Good call. Yep. Good call. No marks. Yep. No marks. Sitting. We're going to do sitting for loss of air without marks. <laughs> Chest compression sitting. Oh, Is there anything else to add, I, Fresh? Anything else to add? Uh, I do have something. Give me you one do. moment here. I'm looking forward to your recipe that you're going to release this week after the show because maybe we'll. I'm releasing it as we speak. Fucking A. And I'm going to make that public so you guys should get a notification that. I just published a recipe. It's public like revenge Over, porn. I published, a, I published a video. I published the recipe before the show. Um, what it is is um, I got you guys a little bit of a head start on uh, layering as far as getting layered up as far as like a cheesecake or a strawberry flavor goes and throw, it out, throw out some hints. So I made up a strawberry cheesecake recipe and I layered it up real nice for you. Um, it turned out outstanding. The strawberry in this is actually one of my favorite strawberries I've ever mixed up. There we go. Is That's right. Is, is that live right now? It is live as we speak. There we go. So you can go from fresh to fresh. That's right. Or you can go watch the Plumes of Hazard. I find your show to be, uh, especially when you go solo pre-recorded, I find it to be a lot like Bob Ross painting. <laughs> You know, like you want to grab like a bottle of Jergens lotion and just go to town with you and the happy little fucking happy do your own mixes. do your own style of painting. Yeah, that's all right. Take I don't mind your, that. Take out your dipstick and check your your mix. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's but yeah, I'm so thinking. so I, I want to say congratulations to all the new mixers out there. Uh, I think it, nothing makes me happier than having that joy that I'm feeling during this process of like recognizing I can do this too. Um, it opens up a whole nother avenue of vaping uh, experiences that you didn't have before, and it also gives you more control over outcomes, and it gives you a whole uh, new community to interact with. So yeah, um, sure. congratulations, welcome, love you all, and also um, the uh, this is a process, so we're going to do this all together. So if you have questions, go to the Facebook group, Fresh from the Kitchen, and we'll be happy to help you out. That's right. Or you can hit me on my Saturday DIY show. As long as I spot your comment, I will answer your question on that show. So there you go. Over on my channels. What's up, Gizzard Stew? I just saw the Gizzards out there. Gizzard. Gizzard Stew. Real man of distinction. One of the funny one of the funniest dudes on the planet. <laughs> I sure think is. anyway. I think yeah. it's hilarious. Yep. So yeah, same place, same time. We're gonna be back in the kitchen next week for some more DIY fun. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.